An eye for an eye, nukes for nukes. Well, North Korea's foreign minister claims the regime has developed nuclear weapons only to cope with nuclear threats from the United States. The remarks came during a keynote speech at the UN headquarters in New York. Now, what's worrisome, as our Kim Hyun bin reports, is that it comes at a time of growing concern that Pyongyang might go ahead with its fifth nuclear test soon. North Korea says its country had no choice but arm itself with nuclear weapons to counter nuclear threats from the U.S. The remarks came from North Korea's foreign minister, Lee Su Yong, during a keynote speech at a high level meeting of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals at UN headquarters on Thursday. He pointed out that Washington is conducting a nuclear war game on the peninsula, referring to the annual joint Korea-U.S. military drills. Lee said that in order to remove nuclear threats, we tried dialogue and made efforts through international law. But everything went down the drain. The only thing left was to respond to nukes with nukes. Lee added that the sanctions on the regime are a challenge to sustainable development, but emphasized that it won't give in to such measures. And the U.S. trying to topple Pyongyang through an economic blockade are an expression of ignorance. It shows that North Korea is putting an emphasis on the need to have nuclear weapons. They are justifying themselves to show the U.S. and the international community that they will not be hindered by their pressure and is trying to go their own way. Speculation has arisen that Rhee might schedule to hold talks with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry with growing concerns that Pyongyang could conduct its fifth nuclear test. But the U.S. State Department says Kerry has no plans to meet B. However, the White House says that Washington is keen on holding talks with the North as long as it demonstrates a denuclearization commitment. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.